artificial intelligence. You may know it as Siri, Alexa, or your favorite online store's chatbot. Nevertheless, in 2019, AI is all around us and is an advantage to many sectors like healthcare, education, and business. But what about more creative and artistic disciplines, like fashion, for instance? While advances in technology benefit the industry in matters of sustainability and marketing, it conflicts important principles that lay the foundation of fashion, like experimentation, individuality, and intuition. For starters, let's define the type of AI we'll be talking about. Data analytics is the science of analyzing raw data to make a conclusion about the collected information. Data analytics is usually divided into four basic categories. Descriptive analytics, aka what happened. Diagnostic analytics, or why it happened. Predictive analytics, or what will most likely happen next. And prescriptive analytics, the suggestion of a course of action. Let's say the sale of macarons has increased of 30% throughout the last three weeks at your local bakery. Descriptive analytics will state what happened, the sales went up. Diagnostic analytics will try to understand why it happened, are people in need of sweets? Predictive analytics will then try to guess what may happen next, basing itself on previous data it already has. How would the sale of macarons a year ago from now? And finally, prescriptive analytics will suggest what action to take. Let's include macarons in our advertisements and increase our production number. Now that we have defined data analytics, how exactly do we define fashion and what it stands for? According to the Cambridge Dictionary, it is a style that is popular at a particular time, or clothing that is considered stylish. But to people in the industry, it's so much more. To Ramia Giangola, a fashion consultant, what you wear and how you wear it are all part of personal expression. And according to Lauren Sherman, the New York editor of Business of Fashion, decorating ourselves in particular things helps us craft an identity. For fashion enthusiasts, fashion holds close ties with notions such as identity, self-expression, and creativity. But how relevant can those notions be when data analytics is, indirectly, the one telling you what to wear? Let's think about it. Whenever we shop online, all the data gathered by the business's website pushes them to advertise their company even more, resulting in us being bombarded with ads. Prescriptive analytics, remember? While their marketing department is thriving, the client is actually penalized. Sure, it makes shopping easier, but by relying solely on ads to shop, the customer is kept in a box and isn't encouraged to explore, experiment, and be creative. After being exposed to specific advertisements over and over again, we become accustomed to them, and there's a good chance that they may actually grow on us. A concept called the mere exposure effect suggests that the more you see or hear something, the more you are prone to like it. Therefore, we can develop a liking for certain things, not because we actually like them, but because we've been exposed to them repeatedly. Again, how is there supposed to be any sense of identity or individuality in fashion if our likings depend on what we see rather than what we actually like? So, what now? We cannot disregard the fact that AI is implementing itself more and more in many spheres and industries, and that it can bring a lot of advantages to them. However, in fashion, key concepts such as creativity and self-expression are put at stake as data analytics is gaining more and more importance. The overuse of data analytics could result in severe consequences for the fashion industry, as customers may feel like a business's approach disregards their privacy, and eventually they become suspicious of the brand. So does that mean AI has no place in the industry? No. Artificial intelligence can be a valuable tool in the fashion industry, as long as its capacities are used in ways that do not interfere with the customer's freedom and with principles of fashion.